I'm sure all you YouTubers have watched a lot of videos on the modifications to the little Colorado XT. But I promise you this one here is probably going to be different from any you have ever seen. Hi, Lynn here at Drone Services Photography. First, I'd like to start out by thanking all the people out there that took the time and the energy to make a video about your modifications and all your ideas on how to make the little Colorado XD a better and more fishable pontoon boat. Uh, mine started out simply. I just had intentions of building a little boat I could take out into our saltwater bays and maybe float around in the shallows and the canals and pick up a few redfish. Problem is down here our bays are very salty and when my boat arrived I was a little bit disappointed that the tubing that actually is the structure for the frame only measured slightly over one millimeter. I knew before I ever got the boat that I was going to have to totally enclose and seal any holes or seams anywhere because if salt water ever penetrated the boat within six months you'd have nothing but a rusty piece of junk with holes all throughout the frame. Here's a slideshow detailing the construction of the boat. Uh, all the parts and pieces that went in it. By the way, thanks Ask Maniac for posting that 100 amp motor speed controller with a fan. It seems to be quite waterproof too. I do appreciate it. As you probably noticed, this whole thing became quite involved because I kept asking myself, what if I did this and what if I did that? Uh, simple pontoon guards turned into simple pontoon guards with a bow plane and some extra bracing for the back and a place to mount some sand wheels. Here's a poor man's radius bin right here. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And here's the video. If enough of you like it, uh, give me some likes. I will uh, see about posting its maiden voyage. See if this thing actually floats. Well then, y'all have a great day. When I've been busy working on this thing in the front yard, every time it's uncovered, it seems like I have to stop and explain to the passers-by what it is and where they think I bought it. They just can't seem to understand that it was built as a personal craft only for me. I included plenty of rod holders as you probably noticed. The ones on the outside of the rail were rigging Carolina or drop baits and the ones on the inside are for actually carrying the poles. That's my Scotty all set up for trolling or just lazy man fishing. Here's a picture of the controller folded in. My Wi-Fi controller, there it is, folded out. That's what I used to steer with. Uh, got my little anchor storage there and my fuse box with all my power switches. And here's a little detail of the linear controller that allows me to sit on my seat and do all the steering the easy way. Here's a little phone video I took, a little short clip showing the steering and linear cylinder in action. It uh, seemed like it's going to work out all right. I had to rig it where I was still able to pick the bottom of the old trolling motor up to keep from scraping the ground, but it looks like it's all going to work. Here's my good old cool one cup holder along with my marine radio mount. You'll notice I had to move the uh, anchor point for the oars out further in order to give me a full stroke with the paddle. This is pretty much the right side of the boat and you'll see the motor controller folded under and then folded out. I didn't remove the top of the trolling motor as a lot of people do because I have an extra plug run out of the battery box. 
If any of the electronics fail, that allows me to unplug and still have total control.